fifty years was in the town of Capernaum. Teachers of the law and Pharisees, they were members of a religious organization, a religious group. They had come from all over Galilee to hear Jesus speak, to hear him teach. Jesus was in a building, and the building where he was talking was so full of people and so crammed that it was overflowing. Four men arrived at the building, and they were carrying on a mat their friend who was paralysed. Their friend couldn't walk and hadn't been able to walk. They had brought their friend to this house because they wanted Jesus to heal their friend. But when they got to the house, the crowd was so big that they had no chance of getting inside. Every doorway, every window was completely tall for people. So the four men came up with an idea. They climbed up the stairs on the outside of the building to get onto the flat roof of the house. And then the men started clawing and chipping away at the roof. As the four men carried on beating and chipping away at the roof, as time went on, Bits of dust and bits of plaster began to fall down on the people's heads inside the house. When they looked up, eventually a hole opened and they could see the men looking through from the outside of the roof. The men kept on pulling away at the roof until the hole was big enough for them to fit their friend through. And when it was the right size, they lowered their friend down into the house on his mat right in front of Jesus. Jesus could see that these men had faith. They truly believed that he could heal their friend. And this paralysed man truly believed that Jesus could heal him. Jesus looked at the man lying on the mat in front of him and said, Son, your sins are forgiven. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees, the members of the religious group who were stood by watching, were absolutely amazed when Jesus said this. Who does this man think he is? Nobody can forgive sins but God alone. Is he claiming to be God? Jesus knew exactly what these men were thinking. He turned to them and asked them, which is easier? Is it easier for me to say, your sins are forgiven? Or is it easier for me to say to this man who can't walk, get up and walk? Which of those two is easier? Jesus continues, I want you to know that I do have the power to forgive sin. Then Jesus turned, went to the paralysed man and said, get up, pick up your mat, and go home. At that moment, the most amazing thing happened. Immediately, the man stood up, picked up the mat he had been on, and went home, walked out of the house in full view in front of everybody who was stood there. He went home praising God. Others there in the building and outside the building, people who had gathered, were amazed. They were amazed too, and they started praising God as well. We have seen remarkable things today. Now, it might be easy to think that the most important part of this story is when Jesus tells the man to get up and walk, and the man gets up and walks in front of them all. And that is an incredible part of this story, where this man who's been paralysed for his whole life, has never walked, can all of a sudden walk because Jesus has told him so and said that that's what's going to happen. But actually, the most important part of this story happens a few moments earlier, because before Jesus tells the man to get up and walk, he tells him, your sins are forgiven. And the reason that Jesus tells him your sins are forgiven before he tells him to get up and walk is because Jesus knows that the man's sin is a bigger problem than the fact that he's paralysed. 
the man's biggest problem is not the fact that his legs won't carry him. The man's biggest problem is his sin. And that tells you that his sin must have been a huge problem because think of how big a problem not being able to walk is for this man. Think of how desperate he must have been to be able to walk. It must have been a huge thing for him. So that tells you that if his sin is even bigger than that, it must be a really, really big problem. And it's the same for you and me. Our biggest problem, our biggest issue is our sin. Who can deal with our sin? Well, the story shows and proves that the answer is Jesus. Jesus says to this man, your sins are forgiven. And then a moment later, he says, get up and walk. And the man gets up and walks. And the fact that the man gets up and walks just after Jesus has said this proves that if Jesus is capable to do that and able to do that, then Jesus is capable and able to forgive sins. In doing the one thing, he's proved that he's capable and able to do the other. And it's the same for you and me. The only person who is capable of dealing with our sin and forgiving us for our sin is the Lord Jesus. Why? Because he's God. He's God as a human being. That's why the Pharisees were so angry with what he said. Jesus said, your sins are forgiven. And the Pharisees knew quite rightly that only God can forgive sins. So if you work backwards, if Jesus says his sins are forgiven and only God can do that, then it tells us that Jesus is God as a human being. And that was a huge statement to make. And that was why the Pharisees were so angry about it and so unnerved by it. But Jesus can forgive your sin and my sin too. He's capable and he's able to do it. And he proves it in this story. All we have to do is realise that we've got this problem, realise that we've got the problem of sin and that it's our biggest problem and then turn to him and ask for him to deal for us, deal with it for us and ask for him to forgive us for our sin. And if we do that, then he will forgive us for our sin.